Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Curing Electromagnetic Hypersensitivity. And I'm here to take a little look into this device. It's a CardioNet MCOT heart monitor and it's called a halter in the medical profession. And it's a little device that has three electrodes and it connects to your chest and monitors your heartbeat continuously. Now it's in two parts. Now this is the part that connects to your chest and has a little lanyard and you put that around your head and your neck and then the three wires go out to your chest. And I'm actually wearing this right now. I have three electrodes on my chest. This is fully functional. It has a battery in it and it's transmitting. It's a wireless radio frequency device. Now you're probably wondering uh, why I'm wearing a wireless radio frequency device when I had electromagnetic hypersensitivity and that is because the book title says curing electromagnetic hypersensitivity. I actually cleared up my hypersensitivity and can be around this kind of stuff now. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a little look at what it's actually doing with this meter. So this meter is a Trifield 100 XE electromagnetic field meter. And we're going to go through the various ranges that it has. And I'm going to turn it on to the first setting, which is magnetic. And we're on the 0 to 100 range. And I'm going to bring the little device next to it. So there we go. That's what our device is doing. So you can see on the 0 to 100 magnetic field range, we're getting pulsations. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift up this meter and see how far we get those pulsations. So you can see the meter is still flickering with a little bit of distance. So there's quite a field coming out of this little pendant. And anyone who studies electromagnetic fields will realize that the orientation of the meter alters the sensitivity of the meter. So it seems to be most sensitive in this orientation. So there you go. We definitely have field emissions coming out on the 0 to 100. Let's try the 0 to 3. So you can see we're off the scale on 0 to 3. Again, let's put some separation in. And we've got several inches of separation. You can clearly see that this is a field producing device that has an extensive field emission from it. So let's try the electric field setting. Okay, so an electric field we can see that we have a pulsating field coming out of this unit. So let's put a little bit of separation in and see what happens. So you can see we're still picking up that pulsation from the device. Okay, it still has a field. It's not zero. If I take it away... So some of this field is actually coming from me. So the constant field is the electric field on my body. So it's not the device. But if we bring it close, we can see that we start getting a pulsating field out of this device. Take it further away, we just get the ambient electric field from me. Pulsating electromagnetic field right there. Okay, so our last setting is radio and microwave. So let's see what happens when we switch over to radio and microwave. Okay, so we're definitely picking up on a field in the radio and microwave setting as well. It's not a very big field, but when it's right next to the meter, the meter is definitely picking it up. So again, it goes quite some distance. 
So I'm curious to know if you've actually been wearing one of these devices, one of these CardioNet MCOT devices. If you've had any adverse effects from it. I actually did see a symptom that I associate with radiation sickness and it's a shifting of radiation exposures. That's a diarrhea reaction. It's a one-off diarrhea reaction. Only lasts about a day and that was the only real symptom I noticed around this device. I've been wearing this now for over three weeks and uh, I can tell you that certainly there is no evidence of hypersensitivity being triggered by this device. I'm very, very comfortable in wearing it. So that's the CardioNet MCOT pendant device. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and if you want to find out more on the subject of electromagnetic hypersensitivity, you can find it in this book. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.